Nine varsity crews hailing from coast to coast are lining up to the state boats on the rain-beaten Hudson. The rain is falling very heavily. Everybody's wet. The referee is called ready all. Nine crews, they're off. is leading with Navy making quite a fight about a length away. It's a great battle between the Washington and Navy as they go past the bridge and head for the finish. Coming up strong, just a matter of two or three feet behind Washington now. leading crews lined up and ready for the gun in the biggest boat race of the year. There they go. Navy, Syracuse, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Tech, Cornell, Washington, Wisconsin, California, and Columbia. That's the way they got away, but there's four miles to go, and it'll seem like 40 before they're through. And to make it even tougher, the rain's beating down on that river like nobody's business. Father and mother, sister and brother, not to mention sweethearts, are cheering for their boys. And here we are at the end of the first mile with the Washington Huskies starting to pull away from the bunch. The Navy's second and going strong. At the mile and a half, Washington's opened up a lead wide enough to drive a battleship through. Two miles, with Washington still leading. These boys are certainly setting a heartbreaking pace with Navy and Cornell hanging on like bulldogs. Can Washington keep it up? That's what the folks in the observation train are wondering. As they pass the bridge which marks the last mile, the Navy boys take the lead with a terrific stroke. Washington is second now, with Cornell coming up fast. And now Cornell is second, but the middies are punching their blades into the water with all the beef they've got. The finish line's in sight, and through the rain and fog comes the Navy to crash over more than a length ahead of Cornell. A great victory for a never-say-die crew.